Okay, we've got to wrap up in a second, I think. But just the, just a couple more things. There's um there's not been very many female rappers for a while, but there's a few now coming through. Obviously, yourself, Amanda Blank, Nicki Minaj. Yes. What are your thoughts on those chicks? Because <laughs> it's Nicki and um, Nicki Minaj, I guess. I don't know. Like, I mean, Amanda. She, I think she's dope. Like she is really dope. Like I never really, I listened to her music like once, like really, and I was like, oh, I never knew she was this dope. And I seen her live, and I was like amazed. Like I really like her. Like she's just crazy. Um, so I know her personally. Like I think she holding it down. Like Nicki Minaj, she just came out. I mean, she doing her thing too, but she just a remake of like Lil Kim, Foxy Brown. Like to me, she just doing something they already did. Yeah. But um, I mean, what makes, <laughs> yeah, she's doing a lot, I guess. Say, what um, what what makes you different from all the other girls out there? Because it has been, it's been a while that it's been nothing. Like, apart from MIA, there's not been anyone really. Recognized. I mean, I tried not like a lot. I'm just like I'm young, so it's like I'm just addressing and like getting the attention of like the younger audience and the people that like the party and have fun because. It seems like it's that time of the year, like where everybody just party. Like every time I'm talking to somebody at home, they're like, "We going out?" Like that's all they need. Like especially when school, when they get out of school. So it's like me, I'm just enjoying like just having a new sound. Like I mean, I do hip hop music as well, but I think it's more unique and fun when you do like the dance music because like I'm a dancer, so it's fun making dance music. I mean, like Nicki Minaj. To me, she been a sex symbol, and that's what I don't think girls have to be a sex symbol now, like they get their stuff out there because it's a new generation, and like that was back in the day when you gotta explore yourself, and that's what I'm trying to get across. You don't have to do that to like make it to where you wanna be, but it's just like I guess everybody's just approaching the industry differently. But I mean, it's brand new. Like I have people like Kanye West, like loving, like it's just crazy. So it's just I'm young, like I'm not trying to get too serious on lyrics, like trying to deliver a message because like I'm 18, like right now I'm just having fun. I can deliver a message afterwards, but um, I know my gen, it's just like my generation, like it's fun, and it's just like when you perform, like the music is like all the bass and like the crazy beats, it's just like monstrous. It's like just fun handed and being able to vibe to it. The same way with like in my age song to go music like when I sang in my age first time live I was like amazed because I'm like oh I can dance and I wanted to like get on the stage and dance and I was just shocked like it's crazy. Um, how, how's your relationship with my age? You guys still in touch? Is she working close on the album with you? Because I know she's had a baby obviously. So what's the name of the baby? Thank you. Thank you. So nice. But um, yeah, we close. She worked. She did, I was in the studio with her. Like the whole entire album, like that's the one in my album with my head. So she was like an executive producer. She produced most of the tracks in Lake Star. Like they did like the majority of them. So it's like we got like a friendship. We got she like a big sister. Sometimes she a mother. And sometimes she a best friend. But I bring like the younger side out of her. Like we always tend to do like little kid things and they're fun. It's not like she never always like oh do this or acting like a mom. Just certain times when we tour and she's like you always on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Get off the phone or stuff like that. But we got a um, good friendship. Who, who else is going to be producing on the album? Have you got a title for it yet? The um, album is called Go Pop Bang. Go Pop Bang. Nice. I like that. And it's like action words. It reminds me like a cartoon. But um. It's like some lyrics I said in Bang the song, and um, I, I just think it look cool like written down. But it's like action words, and it's gonna drop this song. And what's that, what's gonna do? Make, make us dance, make us cry. What's it gonna do to, to the music industry? It's, it's all in a party vibe. Like the whole album, some it's like slow tempo. I did like some crossover songs and stuff, and it's like slow tempo, mid tempo, low tempo. But it's all like it's different. It's not like the slow tempo songs is not an R&B song. It's like it's very different. It's a lot of different sounds. Like it's like in my A sound, next song sound, like Dip Flow, the Count Ascending. I work with Egyptian Mother. Yeah. Oh, cool. So it's like um, it's crazy. It was just like a different, different sounds.
Okay, finally, um, for those that don't know, for example, my mum, who doesn't even know 50 Cent, let alone Rai Rai. Who is, who is Rai Rai? Can you explain a little bit about that? Introduce um, yourself a little bit like that. Rai Rai is a young female artist. I, sometimes I want to call myself a rapster because I feel like a rapper is people that like, like a typical female rapper. Yeah. And like, I'm a different artist, like, I experiment with different genres of music, I do different genres, and sometimes I like to collaborate them all into one, but I'm from Baltimore, Hawker City, and that's why some of my lyrics be so like, gangsta, yeah. and I'm like so small, <laughs> and it's funny, but um, I like to have fun, and I like my music being fun, and I want my music to make people dance, like they having a stressful day, go to the club with my music and it just wilding out. So, um, that's who I am. That's great. Thank you very, very much. Is it right just to take a couple of pictures? Mm -hmm.